Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we are going to review the Huawei MateBook X Pro. And this laptop has really been a very pleasant surprise to me over the past month of reviewing different laptops. So at first I reviewed a gaming laptop, then I reviewed a very lightweight laptop. This one kind of blends the two to be quite honest. and. I'm honestly going to say right now, it has been just pretty much one of my favorite experiences ever with the laptop. And I can honestly tell you right now that if I were to buy one today, it would be this one. My experience with it has just been really great. I love the screen to body ratio, which I'll talk a little bit more about. The speakers, the lightweight under three pounds with having everything that I have under here is really impressive. So first of all, the design. The design is really nice. Again, that screen to body ratio is 91%. I love this trend coming from smartphones to laptops. Having this really nice design and just more screen to body ratio, it makes it look better. Less real estate going to the bezel and more to the screen without a notch. Now, the big thing about this is that it really feels great. It feels premium. The keyboard is really great and the trackpad is awesome. Definitely the best I have used, I would say in this past month, I really just love the way it feels, its responsiveness, I love the trackpad, it's very smooth, but you have to go to the elephant to the room and that is you're gonna have Apple users saying, is this a MacBook? And you're gonna have to tell them, no, it's a MateBook. And they're like, well, what is that? So overall, this is called Space Gray. So you have to keep that in mind that it's definitely going to look like a MacBook. However, I will say that overall, I think Huawei did a better job than Apple at designing this computer. Because of the fact that one, I feel that you have way better speakers with Dolby Atmos, and we'll get to those in a second, but the IO is really important. Yes, you have two Type-C connection, and one is Thunderbolt 3. Yes, you have a headphone jack, but the biggest thing is, is that you have a full-size USB. That is so important to me because I went from a computer with only Type-C connectors, and then I went to another computer that had full USB, HDMI, all those kind of things, but this is a nice blend of the two while still being extremely lightweight. In my experience, it also never lasted less than a day and a half, really, of all my usage. Even when I was editing, it would still get close to 10 hours, and of course they say up to 15, but for an editor, I will tell you that you don't get close to that with most computers, and the fact that I could edit with this lightweight design is impressive as well, especially when you're talking under 2000, which again, we'll get to the price point later. Uh, overall, the speakers are great and they really sound uh, much better than almost any other computers, even MacBooks that I have seen with this similar design speaker layout. So let's play it. I'll fight through any enemies, evil darkness, all of them. Cause you got what it takes, baby. You know you're better than all of them. You're my number one girl. You got everything I need. So that being said, it sounds really good. Are they the loudest? No, obviously if you've seen my past reviews this month, there was one that clearly was louder. However, these are really loud for the size. Again, 13.9 inch screen, really good for that. And as well, this is a 3K display, which again, for having that kind of resolution to having this long of a battery life is really impressive. Uh, no, it's not 4K, but I don't really care to be honest. I just like a little bit better than 1080p with still having good battery life and this finds that happy medium to give me that. Uh, overall, I will say the camera is one of the biggest things that a lot of people are talking about. And let me get to the reasons why I don't care about that at all. But yes, it's in an awkward, weird placement. It's under, it's on the keyboard. I thought it was a very clever way to where to put the camera. But to be quite honest, here's my take on the camera. I agree with Huawei. You really don't use cameras nowadays on laptops. And if you do, you're really not a professional to begin with because those cameras are garbage. I mean, you're much better off using your smartphone or your tablet or any other camera except for the webcam built into your laptop. Most of them are five megapixels or under, and even the ones that fit the resolution size of that are garbage if you have any kind of sunlight or anything along those lines. So really, I do agree. I don't think the webcam is that important. If you really want to Skype call or video chat, you know what, invest in 50 bucks and that webcam will be way better than any laptop on the market. So that's my take on that. Now, what about who is this for and what about the price point? So the price points are two different ones depending on how high tech you wanna get. 
and if you want to go for what I need it for versus what a student would need it for. So for students, you would probably get the $1199 price point. Now, what that gives you is uh, basically an i5 processor, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gig solid state, and a uh, Intel graphics card. Now, this is great for an average student, just needs to get their work done, needs to get all throughout college, high school, or anything along those lines. This will be perfect for that. However, the fact that I am a power user, I edit video, I edit photos, I have been getting a little back, back into gaming after this past month, I would definitely get the 1499 one. Now that will give me an i7 processor. It'll double my computer essentially, give me an i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, so doubling my RAM, 512 gigs solid state, doubling my storage, and even give me a graphics card so I can really edit on there, the MX150. Overall, this computer is the one I would currently buy right now. And no, Huawei is not paying me for this uh, video. They're not sponsoring it so much so that I would ask them to keep this and they won't. I'm going to have to ship it back. But overall, this has been a great experience. And I would say for a lot of people, yes, this is better than getting a Surface Book. Yes, this is better than getting a lot of current laptops out there for the design quality and for the price point it's at. Normally for most other computers around the same kind of style, you would be paying more. I've seen similar spec computers like this, 300 to $500 more than this one's price at normal price. That's not even including a sale, like at the Microsoft store, you can get it for $150 off or a lots of different sales that'll be coming later this year. So my thing is for back to school, this is one you should definitely take a look at and one that stood out to me in this entire review month of laptops. And again, if I were to currently buy one, I must admit I wouldn't have gotten my Samsung one anymore. I would have probably got this one because I feel the quality difference and it's really well off. All right guys, so let me know which laptop should I review next in the comment section down below. Thank you as always so much for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.